trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I really, really need to wash my hair and I want to do a video for you guys. So here we are. I'm coming on to review Curl Origin again, this time the Honey and Hibiscus line. Mostly because I'm using the shampoo from the Marula line. I have the Marula and Quinoa Uplifting shampoo and then I have everything else from the Honey and Hibiscus line. So I'm excited. This is another really underrated brand. Um, I usually detangle my hair before I start washing basically but I didn't do that today I really don't have much time I just need to get it done so I'm thinking it's gonna just stay halfway detangled this week I don't know but we'll see and we'll see if this makes much of a difference with my styling process and you know slip review and everything like that as well so I did kind of halfway detangle it on Friday and just put it in two big like pigtail type plaits so it was somewhat stretched and I did kind of lightly finger through, but I didn't do my full inch by inch detangle that I usually do. So, disclaimer, disclaimer, let's get started so we can be done. <laughs> okay, so starting off with the Marula and Quinoa Uplifting Shampoo. So I don't know what to expect. I already just found two new HD shampoos. Do I need another one? I don't know. But I bought a bunch of shampoos looking for HGs, looking for good ones. My scalp really and my hair really needs it, so let's see what we get. I'm gonna re-wet my hair a little bit because I like to do everything kind of on really soaking wet hair because my hair is pretty wiry. So I'll re-wet it just a bit and get to the shampoo. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Yay, yay. So like you can see, it's a kind of a creamy kind of consistency. Almost like a light leave-in type consistency. Oh yes. Okay, <laughs> it's hard to not like when that shampoo hits your scalp. I don't know, that's one of the best feelings on wash day for me. You all know my situation is tragic, but this feels really good on my scalp. I really like the scent of this shampoo. It's kind of like a light perfumey scent, but it goes nice with the texture and the color. Because it looks like a creamy froth and it smells... I don't know. <laughs> the smell is just a perfect complement to the texture when it foams. I like when textures and scents can kind of take you to Wonderland or to like your fantasy imagination. And that's what this is doing for me, so I like it. Now I'm getting ready to rinse. I do my kind of go through my hair. So we all need it reset, including my hair. So I didn't leave it in quite a while. Like I said, my hair is already kind of tangled from before. So I don't want to judge too much. Um, you know, my hair doesn't feel like super soft, but it feels clean, but not stripped. So it feels like a little kind of stiff, you know that? shampoo feeling where it's not like super soft it's a little stiff to the touch um but it still feels clean and not stripped so i'm gonna rinse it and see where we're at let me just rinse this out and see where we're at all right so i'm done i would say i feel like my hair did get a little stripped it doesn't feel moisturized it's more on the dry side and I don't know if you can see that, but my hair feels kind of stuck together in a way like when it's kind of dry. I don't know if it's apparent, but it's not like free-forming individual curls. It's kind of clinging to each other, which is kind of a sign of it being a little stripping. But my scalp feels great, and I did enjoy the scent and texture. If you kind of prefer stronger shampoos, <laughs> that might be for you, but yeah, my hair is a little squeaky. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the deep conditioner. I know Curl Origin has really good deep conditioner, so I'm looking forward to putting some moisture back. So yeah, let's move on. So now we're getting into the Honey and Hibiscus line. This is the more moisture please deep conditioner. It's still in that kind of light pastel kind of color. Texture looks kind of light. It's more of a light, I guess heavy leave-in kind of consistency, if you know what I mean. Definitely feels good on my hair. My hair is happy. <laughs> to get some moisture back. So I will say this deep conditioner has restored my moisture levels already, so I'm happy with that. I'm just working it in and then I'm gonna let it sit. I used probably half of it, which is a lot for this size. So my hair feels soft and moisturized before letting it sit, which is always the goal. So I'm glad, especially after the shampoo, that means this deep conditioner is really super moisturizing. So this is it. This is my hair after it's sat. Definitely feels soft and moisturized. So <laughs> yeah, you can see it on my face. <laughs> Digging it. 
So this is my hair after rinsing the deep conditioner from this section. I'm loving it. My hair is soft, moisturized, and pretty much ready to go. So let me show you the leave-in. <laughs> so I'm using the Honey Hibiscus Leave-In Whipped Cream. I wouldn't really say it feels whipped, but it does feel very light. Oh, I didn't put too much. I forgot it's a small section. My parting is off. Anyway, yeah, it's not really whipped, but it is very light. But if you rub it into your hands, or you know, it should be fine. Like it's not super duper runny. So, yeah. I do feel as if I had to use a fair bit because that's quite a large amount, I would say, for this little section. So this is the Honey and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Jelly. And I will say I panicked a bit when I first looked at it because the consistency just looks like a cream. But once you touch it and especially once you apply it, you can definitely feel the pectin. So even the color is similar to pectin, but even though it's well emulsified and looks like a cream, it definitely does have that bit of hold and even better at least for me it doesn't suck the moisture out of my hair <laughs> so I don't have to re-wet, re-wetting is optional which I like the slip on the jelly is great as well so no worries about that So then, so let me do my final shake and then we'll see what it looks like when it dries. I will say my drying is going to be a bit different because I usually like to air dry for a bit and we don't have time tonight. So I'm going on the dryer pretty much very soon right away. So, you know, we'll see, I guess. I don't think that would make too much of a difference, but we'll see. Um, in terms of the jelly as well, I would say, I can't say a little goes a long way as in, you will probably use a fair amount of leave-in and gel. I probably use more than I would typically use. And let me sign off and go to sleep. <laughs> it's late. Yeah, we did it. Made it to the end. And hopefully I'll come back soon and show you guys my result. Hi everyone, I'm back. As you can tell, I have a cold, so I don't know how much I'll be able to talk. It's like day three. So I wanted to get on and just show you my result before it completely frizzed out since it's like a medium hole gel. So I do like my shape and volume and softness and everything. I would say honestly it could have a bit more moisture, but the definition is still there and it was even better at day one. So I think the gel was like good for day one volume and definition. And it's also keeping the hole pretty well. I'm gonna keep it for the week regardless. Um, but the only thing I would say is like it could have a little bit more moisture. I mean, it's cold outside and I kind of had a little temperature and you know, when you're not feeling well, you're not really caring much about your hair and the situation. So all of those could be reasons why it's kind of on the dry side. It's not super dry, but it's not juicy either. So yeah, so I don't know if it was the leave-in or the gel. Both of them seem really moisturizing going on. But anyway, the main point of coming on was just to show you my results, which you can see. <laughs> And this is probably going to be a real short and sweet wrap up, but I missed showing you my result my last two times. One I was busy, the other one I was traveling and now I'm sick, so I'm like, uh, I have to come on and at least show you guys. Um, I don't think I showed you the gel texture. I may have did a little bit. I talked about it, but I don't think I showed you. I know I like to show you how slimy and stuff it is, because I know <laughs> when you're sick, the chin comes out. Because even I also <laughs> um, like to know those things when I'm trying a gel. So it's not very slimy at all, as you can see. Uh, <clears throat> but, um, but it did give me good definition in the medium hold. And it did go on moisturizing. I didn't have to re-wet or anything. So, yeah. That's my result. <laughs> and I'm just really kind of pushing to finish this off for you guys. But I will show you some of the ingredients. This is the shampoo, the Marula and Quinoa Uplift shampoo. More moisture, please, deep conditioner. The leave-in whipped cream, which I used at least three quarter of, I guess two thirds of, which I use like two thirds of. Just like the plum and I gave went water then plum, this one kind of goes water then hibiscus, which is nice, you know, 
more hibiscus than BTMS. That's kind of good because BTMS you tend to put a lot of. I like how you can see kind of good stuff in the top five, um, pretty much everything in Curl Origin and pretty much most of what I buy actually. And this is of course the Curl Enhancing Jelly. So I was really happy with my wet definition and I was happy with my definition after it dried. I would say it's not, it's not elongating <laughs> as you can see. So yeah, it's not like super elongating. Of course, this is like day three on a medium hole wash and go. So I'm not expecting elongation, but even day one, I would say it wasn't like hanging. But if you want a nice voluminous, soft, defined kind of look, then I would definitely recommend these stylers like water, pectin, glycerin, then miel, honey, and hibiscus. It's pretty much good stuff. So pectin is good for a medium hold. I think like adding xanthan gum tie up will give it a longer lasting hold. But nothing wrong with a medium hold and a soft fluffy look every now and again. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, yeah. Yep. So result. <laughs> um, if you have any questions about the line, definitely ask me in the comments or any of the other stuff I reviewed actually. Definitely ask me in the comments and I'll get back to you. Definitely stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.